Uh, this microphone and you, sir. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, taking the time to answer these questions. Uh, I know that at least 40% of you have participated in Song Fu, and so have I. And I wanted to know what you think you got the most out of that, of participating in that competition. Moderator intervention, does everyone here know what uh, Song Fu is? Does anyone uh, not know? Uh, yeah, someone give a brief. Um, so, Song Fu was a, a sort of uh, um, uh, iron chef of songwriting thing that uh, our friend Ken Plume uh, ran a couple of rounds of. Uh, there were a couple of master songwriters, uh, and then the, sort of an open field for other people to, to, to write songs. It was a competition uh, and uh, with voting and uh, the. You know, every 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 round, Ken would come up with some some constraint. You know, it had to be uh, you know it had to be about uh, it had to be an homage to the David Bowie uh, Space Oddity song, or it had to be I can't even remember other ones. A theme song for your television show, or you know, it's a funny funny interesting things. Uh, so so that's what that was. It is not. <laughs> yes. It should not be yes. If you're serious about a competition, it should not be a drinking game. So the, the question was, where did he, uh, where did the gentleman go? So the question is, who has participated and what have they gotten out of it? Is that a fair summary of the question? Not necessarily who has participated, but what they got out Motivation, I would say. <laughs> uh, that's actually a serious answer. That one of the hardest things to do is figure out what you're supposed to write a song about. So Ken Bloom pretty much provided that, write a, write a song about um, whatever it is, and then it's, it's easy. You have to write a song about that. I'll also say that Storm and I have uh, learned to lose uh, a little more gracefully, seeing as we've lost to both Jonathan and Molly. And I <laughs> you lost to us. Uh, yeah, you lost to someone else, too. Oh, that's right, yeah. Fuck you all. <laughs> So that lost to me. I'll just repeat, they lost to us too. That's really all I had. Uh, but actually, what I got out of song, it was a lot of fun. It, it gave me an appreciation for what real musicians do uh, that we don't do. Um, but semi-seriously, the idea that working within a set of boundaries sometimes can make you more creative. Um, I've, I've learned that when I've gotten uh, commissions for, for pieces of writing sometimes. I grumble at first, like, if you're, you know, they, they, got, they have a yoke on me, man, they're, they're putting me in a cage. But sometimes it actually works to your advantage to have a couple of, you know, things you have to work within and be creative within that. I don't know if anyone agrees with that. Well, sort of to that end, um, I got four songs out of it, uh, <laughs> which is great, that, like, upped my repertoire by 200%, which is awesome. <laughs> um, but, you know, everyone's talking about how it, you know, taught them to sort of work within sort of a box and work to, like, a particular end. But, I mean, Ken's not on the boat, right? The prompts weren't that great all the time. <laughs> the first one was to write a happy song. And I thought, like, well, I have a ukulele, so I've got a distinct advantage, because it's an inherently happy instrument. But I was like, I need a little more structure than that. What am I supposed to... There's so many happy songs in the world. How am I not going to rip at least one off? There's all these different breeds of happiness, but there are so many songs about, like, being happy and in love and stuff. And I'm going to retread somebody's steps, and that was really freaking me out. And so, I mean, I alleviated that by writing my happy song about Mr. T, because I don't think there are very many happy songs about Mr. T. <laughs> But, but it was it, it was kind of like the prompts weren't very good. But everybody, the masters and the I guess the challengers, I don't know what the term is. But everybody got something really good out of these kind of disadvantageous prop prompts. Um, there was one where we had to. The title was "It All Makes Sense at the End," which doesn't exactly make it makes grammatical sense, but not really. <laughs> and and it's. It, it, everybody made the best out of these sort of crappy little... Like, <laughs> Kenneth is, is a sadistic, sadistic man, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you folks are allowed to perform your song foo songs once the contest is over? Ken doesn't own them as far as oh, I Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, 
anyone else have an experience with song food? I can I ask a question. I can ask a question. Um, <laughs> last night dur during your performance, you said that you were in a contest where you had to write a Jonathan Colton song and he had to write a Palm Storm song. But that was not song food. Is that yeah, right? That was song. Oh, that was song food. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. And that one you lost. Yes. Right. Big dick farts of polka. Right, you know. Everyone loves a fart sound. Yeah.